Time for some epic wet and wild fun with the Hot Wheels Sharkport Showdown playset. Sharks tend to be popular themes in children's toys, but does this shark have a bigger bite than others? We'll see Thomas the Tank, Lightning McQueen and all sorts of other colour shifting cars in this toy review. But be warned, this toy comes under attack from a giant dinosaur bent on total destruction. Okay, let's do it. Oh, it's time for a bit of Hot Wheels fun via the Hot Wheels Shark Port Showdown. This would be a perfect set for my son. Hey, are you into Hot Wheels? And do you like sharks? Are you into colour shifters? Oh yeah! Let's do it! Oh no! Don't wreck the place! Let's just unbox it! Before we destroy this box, let's just take a look at what the box has. Looks like there's a colour changing car included. There's obviously the theme of a ramp there, coming down to a shark. The shark has a chomp on you. Do you make it past him or do you get thrown into the colour changing tank? On the other side of the box, there's a bit more artwork here. A bit more of a naked view of the playset. It's actually visually quite interesting to look at. And then there's a bit of a, what would you call, analysis of how the playset plays out. So this playset is perfect for those styles of cars which are called the colour shifters. And I've got a whole assortment of these here. Where I live, these are basically $8 a car. But they do quite fancy things when you put them in hot or cool water. The colour shifter cars are interesting to look at. I quite much prefer the more abstract designs like the ones on screen now. Okay, you're ready to unbox this Shark Attack Hot Wheels Mania? Let's do it. Out it comes. And we don't want to kill the box this time. We're going to try and we're going to try and save it. Oh yeah, lots of little pieces coming out of this one. Oh, that's the car. Yeah. Oh, what have you found there? Oh, it's a jumper. Dinosaurs and sharks are always popular here. Found some stickers. Looks like there's some stickers to put on. Well, you can open the Hot Wheels there, the colour changer Hot Wheels. I know you love those, but this actually looks like a fair bit of a daddy build here. I'm going to have to resort to the instructions to put this place up together. Do you like that car? That looks fantastic, doesn't it? It's different to your other ones. It's got a little shark on the side too. And even before this playset is built, that playtime is starting to happen. Oh yeah. I dare say this playset will end up in pieces at some point later down the track. I know this Hot Wheels stuff doesn't stay together for too long. But at least there's some interesting looking, well, what do you call it? Pieces of design there. Something about sharks and cars. Gets kids every time. It's interesting, my son is working out the mechanics of this set which seem to be uh, fairly complex for a Hot Wheels deal. Dad, yes. this thing is for the Hot Wheels. It throws it? Yeah. Okay, well, well done. You've sorted it out before Daddy did. Let me um, just get into this manual here and uh, work out how to build this. It looks quite the build. I don't think there's any need to build this place yet. I might just leave it in pieces and it's playing out just fine. Look at that, the place that's eating itself. Well, there's one thing I can tell you about this place it is the stickers have to be put on uh, really carefully because there's lots of areas here where there's mechanisms that trigger the tricky part of this place set. If the stickers are a little bit off, it's going to start to affect the mechanism and it's going to stop it from having fun. Well, lucky for me in this fairly complex build, I've got a little helper here. What have you found there? Oh, it's a bit of a water tank, and I think he's worked out where it goes. Oh, yeah. I'm coming in to put one of the eyes on, and what I'd like to do is use another piece of the set to help hold the sticker. I find it's a bit easier than using your big clumsy fingers, and hopefully I've got that near right. Oh, yeah, with those eyes on that, shark looks a whole lot meaner. What do you think of that shark? Rawr, rawr, rawr. Oh, he bites. Careful when you grab him. Come and get him. Well, it's a case of just piecing it all together now. It's a bit like doing a bit of shark dentist work here, putting that piece in. 
got all those sets, it's visually very interesting. I just hope it's got the playability to um, carry it through. Well, I've just completed that section there, and what it's starting to look like is this. The tank's in position, the Hot Wheels control tower is up there. There's a bit of a ramp there, and there's some sort of, I don't know, shark crater. Okay, I've just worked out where this monster shark goes. It goes into the dinosaur crater egg thing. There, that's its home. It's in position. Just putting this very important ramp on. It goes from the control tower down to the shark mouth. Let's try a car down there. Oh yeah. Then there's this part here. It's like the exit uh, ramp from the shark's mouth. Looks like this pool goes here. You know, I'd sort of feel like I'd put slime in there just as an extra treat. And this elevated piece looks like a very important piece, it's like some sort of oh, dunking uh, thing. And it's got a lower position there, and you can bring it up to the top ramp. Lower, top, lower, top. Well it's time to put the water in this set, I'm just working out where the icy water and the warm water goes. It looks like the icy water goes in that back tank there with some ice. Oh, yeah. My son's starting to have some fun with this place set already. And it looks like the warm water goes here, into that sort of weird looking pool. I'm going to put another Hot Wheels down that set. Gonna send another one down. I'm hoping all these are colour shifter type cars that we've got on this playset. We're pretending there's water there. Ouch, that hurt. I think the important thing I can show here is you can have fun with this even without the water. Okay. Uh, my son is having fun here. It's gonna be the real test, like in uh, two weeks' time, will he still be playing with this playset? Or will it be, you know, in the box of quite a few other toys that never get played with. Down goes the elevator. There's actually one other shark place that I might just pull out, which was a complete and utter fail. And we'll compare it to this one here. He's pretending there's water there. A lot of pretending um, playing with toys, isn't there? And we're gonna see a, oh, bit of a snare up there. Watch out, that shark's gonna bite. You know, it is interesting. I've had, you know, other th shark themed playsets in the house. That's the Thomas and Friends um, shark exhibit playset. It's one that, well, had very limited play in, in our house. It never really keyed into the other uh, take and play play sets. And sometimes, you know, toys, they seem to, well, struggle to have appeal. Maybe some children really like that play set, but in our house, it got some very limited play. But it does look like that this Hot Wheels set has a fair bit more toy mojo happening for it. And we haven't even put the water in there and it's getting a ton of play. My son seems to really be enjoying it. I certainly know children love to mix and match their toys. Whoa. Thomas the Tank there, sure he's designed for this shark playset, but the big question is, yeah. will he play out yeah. on this other shark playset? Thomas is big in our house, but so are these die-cast chuggers, so is Lightning McQueen, and so is that Hot Wheels Redbird. So it'll be really important to see how these play out on this Hot Wheels shark set. But I think it's probably time to get some water into this playset to see its full features in operation. Yeah, they're having trouble. Having trouble? What's happened? Oh, that's stuck down, is it? Isn't that meant to be up that white piece? Yeah. Mm, the trigger seems to be stuck down there. What's going on? Maybe give this a good bang. Watch out, watch your fingers. Oh, come on. Uh, has anyone else had this? Ah, oh, it's up now. I don't know what I did. Oh, it was the teeth. I think it's a teeth reset it. Okay, I didn't know that. Maybe Daddy should have read the instructions. Well, it's quite interesting. It did confuse my son, almost confused Daddy. That latch there, you can have the trigger up. And by pushing the teeth in, you can hide the trigger to turn this into a safe set so the shark doesn't have a bite at the car. Let's run the car through and see if it's true. Here it comes. Oh, the car made it through safely. So my son's going to trigger it to be a dangerous shark. Okay, let's give the car another run. Ooh. Car's coming up to the elevator. Here comes the car. Oh, the car is caught because it's a dangerous shark now. And it looks like shark is gonna meet shark here. So here comes the shark, and that shark is gonna trigger shark. Oh yeah. Well, I've got my ice cubies here. Let's put it into this side here. It's telling me to put it into this side of the tank. Oh yeah. And I'm also gonna put some cold water in this side. It'll become icy cold with that ice in there as well. And the tricky part is to get this back into the playset. This I could fill it up in the playset. I just need to get my camera around it to show you how it worked. And now for the tricky bit, put some warm water in this other tank. Oh yeah, in it goes. In it goes. Ooh, that shark loves the water. 
Do you want to take me on a drive of the colour changing car? Now we've got the water in there. Mm. This is the car that came with the set. It's going into the icy tank first. Ooh, down it goes. I'll do the sound effects. Going up, I've got the shark set on safe and it goes down to the colour changing tank and it has changed colour. How miraculous is that? Oh yeah. Just turning it over to get the roof. It's gone from orange to white. You don't see that every day. And then fun never ends because our white car can be turned back into an orange one once we drive it up into the other tank. If it ever gets out of the other tank. Here we go. Ooh, go for the dunk. This will be magic, guys. Oh, I heard the shark getting triggered to being a trap shark. It's changed back to orange. That is incredible. Oh, we're trapped. We are absolutely trapped in that shark now. Oh, the shark's coming up into the chill tank for a while. Let's see him change colour. In he goes. Leave him in there for a bit. He takes a while to change. He gets darker, I think. It's quite subtle what happens to him. Some of the colour changes are quite vivid in change and some of them are quite subtle. What's happened to him? He's getting darker, isn't he? Oh, let's bring him up and let's see what he does. Ooh, scary shark. What's going to happen next? Oh, I wonder. Fail. 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 <laughs> oh, and he's back down the bottom again. Well, I think it's really important to have the warm water as warm as you can have it because you get a nice fast contrast. You get the cars going, you know, snapping back to other colours. Let's get that car into the other tank, see what it looks like. Oh, here comes the car. Oh, jumps in and snap. Top part is um, still white. We're resetting the shark here. Oh, we've been snared. Must hurt being in those jaws. Here it comes. Ooh, what is it going to change? Ooh, look at that contrast. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. I might have to top up that tank so we can just get the top of the cars. Here he comes. Whoa. That's got to hurt. And he's jumped back down to changing colour again. Well, I think what's really important this one is to keep topping up the water, making sure that that is as warm as you can tolerate because that's when you get the good contrast. And on the icy one there, try and keep that as topped up as possible because uh, it's sort of important to get the levels right. Let's try and dunk some ice in there. Bit of a fail. Let's drive it up to the tank and see what happens. There's nice chilly water in there. Ooh, just that roof bit. Not done, but who cares? I'm going to drive down to the other one. Oh yeah, and a nice colour change indeed. Well, children love uh, toys that make a lot of mess. This certainly, you get a lot of water mess going on. It's a lot of fun. It's certainly a toy. I think it's more an outdoorsy sort of toy. All you want to be playing with this on your expensive carpet inside or your nice wooden floors. Wow, that was a great change, wasn't it? I'm going to see a trigger here. Oh yeah. And of course that car has changed back to another colour, although the roof is remaining that darker colour. But hey, that sort of looks cool. Yeah, it's quite an interesting play set. Uh, my son certainly likes it, and he likes to take that root there out, that sort of muddy root there out of the play set. I've just noticed on the back of this play set there's more areas to join Hot Wheels track. There's one under here. My son likes to drive out the back there, and there's also over the other side two more pieces. So there's actually one, two, three, four, five areas where you can join on other Hot Wheels tracks to join up to other play sets or just straight bits of track if that's your fancy. Well, he's certainly um, enjoying playing with the car that came to this play set. Maybe it's just the new kid in the block in a sense. Um, the fact that it goes from that white to orange is quite impressive. But um, yeah, you've got to keep this one really, you know, it really needs warm water in that one to make it work as it chills off a bit. Yeah, the reaction happens well happens quite slowly. I mean, to me, it feels quite warm still, but that reaction is very slow. Well, we're going to open up some of the newer color shifters that we've got. Oh, you've got it. Well done. I like the cars that have the Hot Wheels logo on it. If I was going to be a Hot Wheels collector, I would go for the ones with the Hot Wheels logo. I've actually topped up to some very warm water in there now. It looks like my son's going to give this Hot Wheels one a bit of a drive. It's a new kit on the block, very much so. Very conventional looking car, in a sense. Oh, down it goes. Up it goes, round and, oh yeah! That is very warm water in there. 
and it needs to be nice and warm for this playset to do a really good sharp color change. Oh, well, we're going to open up another one. Don't you love the sound of a Hot Wheels being ripped out of its packaging? This is a larger vehicle. What do you think of that one? Nice and red, isn't it? It's quite large. Let's see how it plays out in this playset. It's going up to the icy cold water dunk tank. Oh yeah, that is a big one. In it goes. You can see the roof isn't getting covered there. It's probably um. Oh, and it's caught on the corner there. A place that doesn't like the largest format vehicles. And it's a big change there, but it looks pretty cool. Oh yeah. And now it drives via that favourite little uh, muddy road route. I think there's one little criticism I'd make for this place that is that these tanks, if they're a little bit deeper, it would make it a bit easier to, you know, obviously the, you know, they work better caught up again. And this tank here, this crater tank as I call it, is, if it was only a little bit deeper, the top of the cars uh, would also get the colour change. You've got to just spin them around. Although children, I suppose, play like that, don't they? Do you know what? Sometimes that half colour change looks sort of cool. Put it in the cool tank there for a moment. Oh, oh well, he knows how to do it. You just, yeah, look at that. Ooh, oh, we're getting the whole change. I like that one. It's quite a vivid change when it goes. Pull it out. Oh, yeah, the good old half change. We like that a lot. We like that a lot, I can tell you. Oh, there's another one of a half colour change, getting a full dunk. Coming back up, that's the one we came to the play set and it's gone back into the warm water. What I'm noticing is that larger vehicle is struggling on this play set. It's a little bit too big. Uh, it gets caught up. So, as you can see there, it's getting caught up there. It gets caught up if it's going to try and get down to the dunk tank. And we'll send it down there. So, I think the fate of Lightning McQueen in this play set would possibly be the same. You want to give Lightning McQueen a bit of a go and see how he works? He's not going to colour change, but I think he might be a bit wide for this play set. I just want to see if McQueen fits. I've got the shark set the safe so it won't trigger. I actually made it round. He does fit. But he won't colour change of course because he's not one of those sorts of vehicles. If I try him on the straight here, how would he get through that? It's quite a narrow gap there. No, he gets caught up on that on that piece there. He wouldn't go through on the straight, but he made it round on the turn and he's playing up on me now because he's a mega star. He uh, will make it round there and he's back in the dunk house. Oh, we're opening up another one. It's a fire engine. It's going to be very cool, isn't it? It's quite a large Hot Wheels vehicle, so it's going to be interesting to see if it does fit on this um, set, which has got some little narrow sections on it. We're going to go through the colour changing system first. And it goes into the cool water. Yeah, it becomes... Oh, it made it round. Very interesting indeed. Well done, Mr. Fire Truck. I might have to put some more water in that. That is, um, yeah, that water's, as soon as it's uh, lost its temperature, we can't seem to get much going on there. Oh, he's being snared up in the shark. What's going to happen next? I'd hate to think. Any moment now, there's going to be disaster. I'm sure of it. Oh, yeah. And I'll tell you what, that fire truck actually flung quite some way from the place. So that's quite a powerful little flinger. In that, let's see if I can get this to do its proper colour change because I don't think we've seen that yet on this one. I've just put some, oh look at that, oh look at that. Just put some fresh warm water in there, it looks fantastic. It goes from being a red fire truck to a white fire truck with red flames. How Hot Wheels cool is that? It looks like we've gone for the custom ice dunk there. Well the fire truck is down in the icy bath down there. Let's give it a run. I've set the shark to safe so it's going to make a safe run down to the bottom and hopefully not get trapped. Oh no, someone's triggered it to the other way. I'm trapped, I'm trapped, help, help. Who's gonna help me with the fire department? Who helps the fire department? Ah! Whoever that car there is, um, and that's certainly not the police. <laughs> oh, let's open up this one. It's a 64 Pontiac, I only know that because I just read the packaging. Don't know my American cars, because I'm not American. Hopefully have a very interesting color change in this one. Let's put it through the tanks, let's see what happens. Oh yeah, into the icy tank down there, chilly chilly chilly. Whoa! There it goes, and uh, what's happened with that one? I can't quite tell what's happening, it's gone lighter I think. I might need to put more um, warm water in that, it seems to be a constant here, I'm really having to keep this tank here oh, there we go. very warm. Yes, it's finally changed, it's really got to be very hot to, um, to have a fast, effective change. Well, we'll give this Pontiac another go. I've refreshed the um, 
Oh yeah, there it goes. I'll refresh that hot water in there and we get a great colour change. It looks fantastic. Let's watch it change. Oh yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. And we'll drive it down to the warm tank. Here it comes. Oh yeah. Oh, I love it. That change. Oh, we're going to open up the Mustang um, GT. American vehicle. I don't think you find many of them where I live. Do you like that one? I think he likes all the Hot Wheels. In it goes, go, oh, look at that. Ooh. If it was in focus, it'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Okay, there's a cold tank there. Very um, sinister looking, this one. Oh, it's trapped. Oh no, it's trapped in the shark. It looks like the uh, fire truck is gonna come along and uh, trigger that next bit of mayhem on this play set. Here it comes, it'll be disaster any moment. Oh yeah. Let's just take a look at the colour change in this one. I don't think I've really captured it properly yet. And it goes to that warm tank there. It's quite subtle to change in this one. Hey, let me just have a look first. What's going on there? It's got a real deep red to it. And we put it into the cool one. Check out the cool one there. I want to see it. Oh, we're going to the, <laughs> going into the ice bath. And it changes to a darker colour, I think, in there. Yeah, okay. Oh, we're in the shark mouth. What's gonna happen next? Ouch! Ooh, skull duggery, if ever I've seen it. <laughs> Playability and cross compatibility is oh so important in toys. Even though this is designed for Hot Wheels vehicles, we want to see if other popular toys work in this playset. Oh no! Thomas is in the shark mouth. What's gonna happen next? Oops! He's gone down and he's drowning in a sea of warm water. Um, I'm calling it a DHL's truck. Oh, <laughs> fail. <laughs> well, it looks like we've got someone who's like running this place now. Thomas has been put up in the control tower and, well, he seems to be ruling the roost for some reason. I don't know why. That's where my son's put him and he's just playing out some playability there. Oh, we've got a trap. We've got a trap. Ouch. Oh, and I think someone has just fallen from his high. Looks like Thomas is back up in his watch position again, most important. And it looks like, of all people, Brewster from Chuggington is going to have a play in this play set. He's not a colour changer. Let's just see if he runs down this uh, roadway here. We're resetting the shark. That's it to trigger. It's set to trigger the shark. Oh, no, it's set to run. Here it comes. Oh, no. Brewster's had a, what would you call it? Derailment. Shark style. And he's having a swim in the pool as well. And I think Thomas has just fallen from his high. I'm not sure whether Thomas is that safe um, being up there. I think the chaos is starting to happen. Oh, it looks like we've got another vehicle, Aero Flash. I think the name of this one to rip out of the packaging. Oh, yeah, nice opening. Is that one of the old Hot Wheels classic designs? Who's into the Hot Wheels? I'm certainly not. Well, let's send the Aero Flash, whoever he is, into his icy cold chamber there, and he's going to go for a drive. He's getting a bit of a dunk up to the top, and he's going to come by the shark, set for safe, and in he goes. Oh, yeah. He's turning white, and he looks fantastic, actually. There's another one of the vehicles with the Hot Wheels emblem, emblems on it. It's sort of the one I'd collect if I was a collector. Well, it's been lots of fun, this place. We're going to give uh, the Hot Wheels Redbird a spin. He's not a colour changer. Oh, he likes dunking in pools, doesn't he? Just see if he can trigger the shark. I've actually set the shark up to um, to trigger. That's that, that little uh, piece there up. As I learned earlier in this uh, review. Up comes Redbird. Oh, he does get trapped. That's a very nasty look. Very nasty look indeed. And it's not every day you see that sort of toy torture. Ouch! Possibly that's a sign that Redbird's not allowed in that playset. My son loves his Monster Jam Hot Wheels Monster Trucks and it looks like they are a little bit too um, too big for this place. <laughs> but it's not going to stop him from having fun monstering it to um, toy torture. Oh no. It's starting to get wild. Oh no, it's going to be a dinosaur attack. 
Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, oh, I can't bear to watch this. Oh, lucky that both of those toys are quite tough. Oh no. How much more can we take? Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Wow, the dinosaur has come in and had the final say in this. Wow. Shark versus dinosaur, who's going to win here? I don't think the shark's looking too happy at the moment. We've lost the pool. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> this whole set is off the table. Oh no! Oh, oh my goodness me. Um, oh, we're probably going to learn how tough this toy is from all that. Oh no, oh no, I can't stand the watch! Oh! Dinosaur, you want to drink? Looks like he's got a drink of water as well. Oh my goodness me, the toys have all been completely obliterated. Well, the playset we looked at used to sit there until disaster struck. Did you like that playset? Or are you eating ice now? Uh, it looks like we're eating ice. Uh, did you like that playset? Was it fun? You know what to say next? Oh, bye for now. Bye for now. Yes, thanks everyone for watching. And uh, bye for now. Watch your step here. There's um, bits of toy uh, all over the ground. Yeah, be careful there. It's toy torture land again. Well, the dinosaur has spoken. My son had a lot of fun doing that review. He's changed his clothes because he got totally soaked in playing with his toy. I've got a few words to say about this playset. The first thing is obviously it's a bit more of an outdoorsy sort of playset. It's very much a summertime feel to this playset as well because of all the water play. It's got five areas where Hot Wheels track connectors, two at the front, there's actually three at the back. It's got some fantastic playability with the elevator there, going down to the shark trap and the, you know, do or dive going down to the other water bath. So it's got two water you know, color changing areas. It's, um, quite an impressive set and as you saw it is actually very robust as well I know people are gonna ask me how much did you pay for the toy Leo I actually didn't write the price on the bottom of the box for some reason um, anyway me talking prices of toys is only going to distort the facts here because I dare say over in the USA this toy would be a fairly inexpensive toy versus what I have to pay but the main thing is my son really seems to like it but the true litmus test is going to be whether he's still playing with this toy in weeks to come and uh, that's what makes and breaks a toy in our house I know there'll be haters and people say you know Leo you shouldn't have your son destroying toys but I think it shows to all of us the good toys versus the bad toys I mean that came together there's nothing broken on that toy after being quite brutally stomped upon by this um, dinosaur train toy which is basically indestructible that toy there has been given an absolute hammering and from what I can work out it still all works. I mean, that's the most amazing thing. If only all toys were made like this one. Anyway, as a bit of a double ending, uh, I'll have to say thanks for watching. And, um, oh, thanks. He said it for me. Bye for now. Well, hello, everyone. I'm going to do a review of the Hot Wheels Shark Port Showdown, and I'm trying to work out where my son is. You need to appear at the side here. A bit late. Take two. Well, hello there, YouTube audience. I'm going to do a review, toy review of this Hot Wheels blah blah blah, and I'll do another one. And I'm trying to work out where my son is. Where are you? <laughs> You're a bit late. You got to pop out when I sort of name your name, okay? Hot Wheels Shark Port Showdown and I think this would be a perfect little set for my son wherever he is. I like <laughs> you gonna appear? <coughs> perfect set for my son. For my son. <coughs> perfect set for my son. For my son. <laughs> he could have appeal. Are you listening or not? <laughs> Obviously not. Uh, the track extenders here to connect onto other Hot Wheels track. There's a fail there. Get this thing off. That's a fail.
Oh yeah, double shark action. And a smash. That car's gone in. Oh. Oh no, oh no. Ah, it's gonna kill me. Oh. Oh no, oh no, I can't stand the watch. Ah! There's another vehicle, whoa. I do like the fact that you can play that toy without the water in there. It's got no water in it at the moment and he's not screaming out for the water, although now that I've mentioned it, it'll probably scream out, hey dad, can I have water in this again? Dad, I can I have water again. Okay, uh, but maybe this time don't play as messy as we've been playing before.